Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I am coming back at you with a Wargaming in Miniature video. In this video, we're going to continue on with our Waterloo Project updates. And in this one, we want to, I want to talk a little bit about generals, unit commanders, uh, how I'm going to base them, some of the figures that I just recently got in from Perry, and uh, we're just going to take a look at getting these guys started, a little bit prepared. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with them tonight, of course, but this is just for me to show you, enlighten you, uh, and myself on uh, how we're going to go ahead and do this. So what I need to do is I need to bring up my spreadsheet uh, for Waterloo. Okay, I have a spreadsheet that I have shared with you in the past. Uh, and it has the British, the Prussian, the French forces all in... Uh, In, in its glory. And then I broke down and uh, picked a few pieces out uh, for me. I might be switching glasses mid-stroke because these Coke bottle glasses that I wear, you can see how magnified these are. This is what I wear when I'm looking at my figures real closely. But when I'm looking at a monitor or something further away, I wear my normal reading glasses. Okay, so I might have to switch back and forth. Okay, but right now, uh, I've got three base sizes out right, right in front of you. And uh, the first one is a 50 millimeter. They're all circles, for one thing. They're all circles. Uh, I believe that the generals should uh, differentiate themselves from a normal unit. Uh, so when the, and the units are all on squares so that when uh, you see a circle, you know that he's not part of the unit, he's actually the general. It, it makes it stand out super fast. Generals have a 360 degree command radius, so there's no need to have uh, sharp edges. Like units do have uh, firing arcs and things like that, and they need those sharp edges. Where a general, uh, for black powder, that is, is always measured from the center of the general. So, like, if you, if you have a general mounted on this base, you always measure from the center of the general, not from the base itself. So, if the general is off to the side, let's say, and you've just got, like, a tree or something on there, you always measure to the general. Okay, so, first thing I want to say is I've got these... Uh, the smallest size round bases are 50 millimeters, okay? So you can see that there are 50 millimeters uh, circles. They, uh, or two inches if you wish. Uh, these are for my brigade commanders, okay? So I will mount, oh, these guys smell. Okay, so I'll take one brigade com commander model, usually on a horse. It doesn't have to be. He could be on foot, but uh, I have uh, some colonels and some brigadier generals uh, that I will mount on a two-inch circle, and that will be my brigade commanders. Okay, that's how that starts. Uh, we're going to get into all this in a minute. The next size up is 60 millimeters. It is not... Uh, uh, two and a half inches. It is still in the millimeters, and it's 60. Uh, this is going to be for my next level up, which would be what? Division general. Okay, so you got your brigades. You might have three or four of them in a division, and then this would be the division general. And I'm also going to mount a single figure on there now if I wanted to have a guy on foot or something like that with him a messenger or something I could do that but uh, in general I plan to put one figure on a 60 millimeter base uh, you can put 
two figures. I thought about this. I thought about putting one for a brigade, two for a, gen, uh, a division, and three for a corps, and four for the army, or something like that. I thought about doing it like that. A lot like the way Napoleon's battles did their generals. But uh, it's really not necessary. And the reason why I think that is because I'm going to have these generals labeled anyway. And remember, you measure to the center of the general's head. If I had two models on here, hypothetically like this, someone might measure to his head, another person might measure to his head. And these do fit. They, they fit because it's a 50 millimeter uh, circle a lot like cavalry stands which are 50 millimeter squares uh, that may have two figures on them this is a 50 millimeter circle it could also have two figures on it but I feel like because it's a circle it kind of cuts off the edges for the figures and they kind of extend especially if you spread them out if you keep them close together then you're defeating the purpose of having two models on the stand uh, I thought about doing something like this, you know, or like this, you know, just to let you kind of realize that they're not necessarily um, a unit, that they are maybe a general and his messenger or something like that. But then I said, really, that's just one extra figure you don't really need. It's just on there for... Uh, it's it's just aesthetics and with a 60 millimeter base uh, you really can't put two figures on there now I could put a, a guy on foot with with ease uh, a guy on foot a mess a uh, or a wound or something like that if I wanted to make a vignette but I, I really don't want to do that with my gaming models uh, if I was wanting to make a model diorama to put on the shelf then of course I wouldn't even use this size base I'd use a much larger base anyway so this is going to be uh, I'm just going to put one figure in the middle that's going to be my division generals and then uh, the next step up from the division is your core obviously and the core general is going to go on a three inch or maybe it's 75 millimeter but yeah it's it's a three, it comes out as three inches. Now this, I will put multiple figures on, uh, and I'm thinking the main general should go in the middle. Uh, you know, like Rial or something like that. Uh, O'Reilly or however you pronounce his name. Uh, and then I was thinking I'd put a couple of extra figures on there with him so that you would have your maybe put him up a little bit, maybe put him in the lead so you could really tell that he's in charge and then do something like that. Uh, I thought about that, or I thought that I would just put two figures representing my core. Uh, they don't, you don't have to have three figures, uh, but definitely putting, okay, he's not the general. Put a guy a little bit to the front and that way you know that you can measure to the general and he's just a runner. Now, there's no, there's no reason why you can't just put one figure on the base. But, um, and then maybe a couple of standard bearers or drummers or something like that beside him. Uh, I've considered that. But in this case, we're just we're probably going to put two figures on the base and call it a core. Uh, okay, so that's the, that's the idea behind the size of bases. Now I've got some figures here, and I'm not sure what they all are. So, uh, because, they, they, because as you know, Perry brings uh, figures and numbers, and uh, I'm not exactly sure who they are or, or what they are. Okay, so these guys are troops. And if they're troops, I'm going to set them off to the side because they are not going to be involved in this conversation. So 
don't need to worry about what those are. Okay. Uh, DB2. Okay. Bear with me. I'm going to have to go look that up. So this is Perponcher. Uh, it says general perponcher on foot. That's probably him. I don't know who it is because it's probably him because he's got the bicorn and and the uh, like a map in his hand. Maybe that's a book. It's hard to tell. And then, but he's got a big plume on his hat. Okay, it's his. Okay, so there's General Perponcher on foot with map. Okay, that's him. So far, so good. General Baron Constant Rebuke or Rebecca on foot pointing. That's got to be him. That's got to be this guy. Uh, ADC handing message to mounted guide. That's going to be him. He's going to be an ADC. And then guide on foot holding general's horse. Okay. Okay, so this guy's the mounted guide, right? And this guy's handing him a message. This guy is on foot holding the general's horse. Thinking maybe it's this guy. I'll have to see which horse is which. Hold on. Yep, this is the general's horse. So, so these figures should be together no matter what, right? Because and then I could easily have just this general on foot, a brigade general. I don't think he's a division general, but he could be another general. And then these guys, this guy mounted. It's a guide, and he's taking a message. So, I mean, I could put this on a very large base and make this a big scene, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to have too many models crowding. Uh, what I'm doing and Perponcher is the is a division general he's the second Dutch Belgian division there's Bylant and Godek uh, as his first Dutch Belgian and his second NASA there's also Merlin and Chase or whatever um, and I could easily have this guy represent any other general like Bylant. Uh, this would be a great Bylant brigadier general. Uh, and it, this is, like I said, okay, this is going to be Bylant brigadier. This guy, uh, this guy's holding the general's horse, right? And this is the general on foot. That'll work great on this uh, ba this base. Perponcher standing, looking at a map. Now, would I want to crowd all these other guys onto this base? No, I don't want to do that. So uh, these guys 
can be uh, I can put these in a unit or I could put these guys as like an ADC or messenger uh, stand because sometimes you play games where players don't communicate verbally amongst each other they have to send messages so this would be great for the uh, like a messenger so I'm gonna put them in there And I'm going to write Perponcher on this. Okay, that's Perponcher. I come up with a Ziploc. And that'll be that'll be that division general right there. Now I've already done that with Halkett. I got fifth uh, fifth grade third division Halkett. Uh, that's an actual Halkett figure. Okay, so he's done already. I've got um, Pack. He's ninth brigade fifth division. I've already got him. Pack is done. Well, this is just pre-planning, right? Now, here's a division figure. I've got Foy on his horse. Bachelou on his horse. Remember, this is the 60 millimeter base. Uh, there's Kemp. It's also 5th Division, 8th Brigade. Kempt horse. That's the Kempt figure. Okay, and this is also 5th Division. This is, Oh, I'm jumping back and forth from the French. Okay, but this is 2nd Brigade, 5th Division. Campy, he's French. And then I've got Chase. He's third division. Third division Netherlands. There's Chase. And then, of course, I've got Orange, the Prince of Orange. And uh, there's two models in here because one is Orange and the other one is... Okay, hold on, wait. Prince ADC. So we got orange and his ADC, two figures on a three inch base. And then there are, okay, I need to leave this guy with them. Uh, I've got three French guys. I got Riley, Dear Laurent, and Lebeau. Now these are core commanders, right? And I only have one figure per core in this bag. Uh, so I'm going to need to come up with some runners, assistants, uh, musicians, standard or something to go on that base with them because they've got to have, or I'd like them to have two figures per base um, okay so Dutch Belgian uh, I'm gonna put guides and Rebecca That's General Rebeck. So, so I'll have to look up General Re Rebeck, but he looks like just your normal Dutch Belgian general. Okay, so I might, he's going to probably um, stand in for another general, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to set him off to the side. Okay, this is 
what I've been kind of looking forward to. This is, I think, um, my Brunswick ADC off ADC and staff officer. Okay. So what's going to wind up happening is I'm going to probably treat the Duke as either a division or a core. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, hang on just a second. Let me look at my let me look at my troops. Yeah, I've got the Duke down as part of the core. But here, let me see. I'm scrolling until I get to the Brunswick core. Yeah, it's Lieutenant General Duke of Brunswick. So the generals go Brigadier General, Major General, Lieutenant Brigadier General, Major General, Lieutenant General. So he's obviously a core commander. Hmm. So I'm going to probably put two, and he is part of the Brunswick core. So I'm probably going to have to use uh, a core stand. And this one just says Perry Miniatures. And this one just says Perry Miniatures. This guy looks like just a standard Hussar. And this one on it, it says Duke Brunswick. Now, I could put all three of these guys on here. The Duke in the middle. But see, these two guys need to be, or they look like one is handing a message to the other one. I guess I could put them on horses behind him. But it probably wouldn't look right, I don't think. Okay, so if he's there, hypothetically this is, and he's up there, hypothetically, we're way back there, and this guy's over here. These might not be the horses I'm going to use for the guys. Uh, Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to leave this one guy, this one Hussar, handing a message. But I'm going to have him handing it to the Duke himself. And this other guy is either going to be a messenger or I'm going to use him as some other Brunswick brigadier. Brunswick is just going to be a staff officer. Which I can use as either spec or butler. Possibly. We'll see. Okay, now I have BH2 right here, which is... Wellington, Picton, and Uxbridge. Wellington, obviously. Wellington, no introductions necessary. Now, Wellington should have another figure on his base. Obviously, a lot like the French Corps. Uh, 
Uxbridge, though. Yeah, Uxbridge is a core commander for the Allied uh, Cavalry. So these guys, a lot of my core commanders need secondary figures. All right, that was BH2. Okay, now these guys here are colonels. I could use them as uh, Two Hanoverans or KGL and one Highland. So this guy's gonna be my Highland Colonel, obviously, because he's got a Highland hat on. I don't know what that's called. And they said these guys could be Hanover or King's German Legion. The uniforms are virtually identical, except he's got the Belgique Shaco, and this guy's got almost looks like a side plume French. No, I could. No, I don't know. Because I'll have to decide what I'm going to do with those, which which actual general I'm going to use for that. So. Okay, I got a Hanover, KGL, and a Highland Colonel in there. Uh, Ponsonby is going to be a division general, which again is only one figure. So his staff can actually go with someone else, like Uxbridge and Wellington. Okay, which one is actually Ponsonby? Oh. I think it's this guy because of his bicorn is like exceedingly large but this guy's got all kinds of ornaments and this guy's got a bear skin like he would be a uh, Scots gray Okay, but at least there's staff officers in there. Okay, so I'll put pawns in B. Not in a bag just yet. Okay, so this is more staff. ADCs. So now this ADC looks a lot like a general. Nope, maybe he doesn't. Oh, he might be. Kind of looks like a general. Say okay, now unfortunately, somehow I got two of these which are exactly the same. One 18, one 19, but I got two 14s. And they are the same. So the general that's in there, which I think is Jerome, here we go, Prince Jerome. Uh, He's a division general. I can use Jerome over here as a different 
division. And there's Marconet. And Schmidt. Okay, we're going to have to look that up. Oh, Quino. Oh, that's a Q. Okay. And that's Quino. Prince Jerome, Marco Net. Okay. Now I could put Jerome Bonaparte, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, these all three of these are division generals. Just three different divisions. I can paint this Jerome model to be a different general. Because uh, basically the French had a uniform. The, the general's uniforms were pretty much the same. Quinoa. I start painting them, then I'll identify which division. <clears throat> All right, now the set 119, that includes uh, the French Cavalry Corps. Uh, Kellerman, yep, Kellerman, Le Hertier, Hertier, and Malad, right? And Malad. Now, Kellerman is a Corps commander. And Malad is also a Corps commander. But I don't plan to field Malad as a Corps commander. Um, he's the 4th Cavalry Reserve. This guy's the 3rd Cavalry Reserve. He's at Quatre Bras. Malad is, uh, I guess I could paint him up as another Cavalry Corps, but I'm probably not going to field both Cavalry Corps on the same table. So I don't know if I want... I don't know if I'm going to paint him up 
I might make him a division general. I know the uniform says he's a corps commander. I don't know. Now I might make, I might just do it just, just to do it. I'm just going to zip walk him. My French need some ADCs. Okay, this is 119, and you might notice that uh, this 19, no, 118, which is Ney and Staff. Okay, perfect. Ney, definitely a core commander. He's actually probably a wing commander, but I'm just going to mount him on a core base. And that means two of these guys are going to be going on this. And this has got to be Ney with his red head. Yeah, Ney looking behind himself. Okay, good. Now, both of these ADCs actually have names. That's interesting. Like this one's name is Jaime, and this one's name is Lavender. Levavasur. Levavasur. Okay. And Hymen. Hymes. Yeah, so. <laughs> This guy's a colonel, Colonel Hyman, and Lavender with Ney. Could I put all three of them on there? I mean, he, he should be a wing commander anyway. Ney's, a, Ney's pretty much more than a core. I probably should put all three of those figures on there. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that. He was... Napoleon's right-hand man, so. I'll put that in this, a silly Ziploc. Okay, this last one is FN55, which finally I'm happy to hear that these are the French staff officers. Okay, so these guys are going to go in with those cores um, okay Kellerman okay there's a dismounted staff officer as well and then there's a couple of other staff officers this guy looks like he's got a cavalry boots on I think I'm gonna put him with Kellerman Adjuncts, adjuncts, colonels, uh, which could be, those are all going to be brigade commanders. And then I've got this, a, a, another Riley, uh, which is basically a corps commander. Don't, I'm not doing a second Riley. It 
if I put him with Kellerman, I think I'm going to do that actually. Okay, I'm going to put him with the three cores, the adjuvant. So the three adjuvants went with the three cores. Okay, that's good. That's perfect. If I put Riley in with Kellerman, it'll be like Kellerman's got a core commander with him. It would almost be hard to tell who's in charge. <laughs> oh, goodness. Or I could put in, or I could put Malad. With Kellerman. Nope, Malad's got his sword out. I'm going to leave him by himself. I think I'm going to put uh, my second Riley with Kellerman. I know, I'm breaking all the rules. I don't care. Which French Brigade, but I'm going to make him a French Brigadier. It's going to be a Belgian line Brigadier. And again, remember, you can always proxy. You don't, you don't have, it doesn't have to be the model of the guy you're representing. Because I've noticed, I searched a lot of different companies, they all don't make every single general by name. So you gotta kind of just match uniforms. Like this one's a Dutch. And since I've got quite a few Dutch-Belgian brigades, these guys will be just fine. Okay, so those are all my generals. Uh, let me get these out of the way. Get that out of the way, everything's out of the way. Okay, everything's out of the way. Okay, let's take a let's take a real quick look. Okay. Wellington solo. Uxbridge solo. I know they shouldn't be, but they are. Prince of Orange, he's got both of his figures. He's good. Duke of Brunswick. Okay, so we got Perponcher. Now, 
more importantly, we got Picton Pack. Kemp. And Halkit. Third division, third uh, Dutch Belgian division, Netherlands division. It's Chase. Um, this guy could be Venki, I guess. Ven I don't know. I'll have to take a look. Venki, maybe. Then again, I got these guys over here. I'll figure out where those guys go. Okay, so those are the allies, right? Plus the Dutch Belgian guy. Okay. Okay, so we got Kellerman with a secondary core. We have all three LeBeau, Dioleron, Real. Ney. Wow, that's, that's a heavy bag there. Okay, that's Ney. And then I've got some, like a, uh, Marconet, Hertier, he's cavalry. Quinoa. <laughs> Those are cavalry. Okay. Some divisions that I have no idea what division they will be. So I've got three division commanders. Okay. So we got Bachelor, Jerome. Foy, that's Bachelor Jerome Foy, okay, and then we go to brigades, I only have like one brigade commander, Campy. Right, and then I've got this French generic colonel brigade commander. I need to get some more French colonels for brigade commanders because I've got more than enough division generals. Okay, well at least see I know I know I now know where I stand. Yeah, I have guides. I've got a Brunswick staffer. I've got a Hanover, KGL, and Highland Brigade Commanders, ADCs, and I have Ponsonby. So the Allies, I think I'm pretty good. The French, I need some Brigade Commanders. All right, guys. Well, now you kind of know where I'm sitting when it comes to the uh, my general situation. And remember, I told you I didn't want to get into painting any of these until I pretty much have collected them. Uh, I'm still working on my battalions. Uh, I have three Highland battalions, uh, Cameron, Gordon, and the Black Watch. I have those three currently primed, and I'm working on those. 24-figure uh, battalions. Uh, And then uh, I probably start my, oh, I've got all my uh, Brunswick, like avant-garde. Uh, I've got the, the lifeguards. I, I need to get some, I guess, some Brunswick light units because I have the, I've got a couple of lines and I've got the avant-garde and the lifeguards. I don't have any lights. So I need to get some of those and uh, maybe a Brunswick artillery piece. I also got some French artillery 
and uh, what else? Um, I picked up 12 of the Empress Dragoons. Um, I always thought those looked very nice. The, you know, the, the paint style or the uh, uniforms were really cool. So I wanted to, so I picked them up just because I wanted to have some fun painting those. But uh, yeah, so currently I'm working on some Highlanders. Once I get all the Highlanders done, I might actually start working on some generals. I'm not sure. All right, guys, well, at least now you know kind of where I'm sitting with the commanders. And I'll catch you next time.